Hello everyone, what is a hotspot? A hotspot is a physical location where people can access the internet, typically using Wi-Fi signals. To put it simply, hotspots are physical places where users can go and wirelessly connect their devices to the internet, such as smartphones, laptops, tablets and so on. A hotspot can be in a private location or a public one, such as a coffee shop, a hotel, an airport or even an airplane. A coffee shop is the most common place for having a hotspot where customers can have internet access. Ok now, hotspots are created using Wi-Fi routers or wireless access points that are connected to an ISP and these devices broadcast Wi-Fi signals so that people nearby can connect and access the internet. They just simply have to enter the network name and password if it has one because some public hotspots are open and some require a password. Now on the other hand, private hotspots can be something like your home. Most people who have Wi-Fi in their home would have Wi-Fi router that would broadcast Wi-Fi signals so that anyone in the home can join and access the internet. Another most common example of private hotspot is tethering that is created by your mobile phone. Most of the time when you are in a location that doesn't have a hotspot and you want to connect your laptop to the internet. So in this situation, you can use your smartphone as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Smartphones get their internet access by using a mobile tower and you can transform your mobile phone into a wireless access point. This allows your laptop and other devices to access the internet and share your smartphone's data connection. The setup process varies depending on your internet service provider and phone settings. Most smartphones have an option to turn on a hotspot with the click of a button and once you turn it on, your phone will broadcast Wi-Fi signals just like a Wi-Fi router and the nearby devices can connect to its signals to access the internet from the mobile phone's cellular network. Ok now, there is one more way to connect your devices to the internet which is known as dedicated mobile hotspot. Unlike smartphone hotspots, dedicated mobile hotspots work entirely separate devices. These devices often referred to as mobile hotspots or portable devices function as wireless routers that connect to local cellular tower to provide Wi-Fi connection to wireless devices. So for example, if you have wireless devices within 30 feet range of a mobile hotspot, they can join the network and access internet. Now keep in mind, mobile hotspots come in two different types. They can be either stand-alone product like this one or they can be built into your smartphones which I have mentioned earlier. It is also important to note that mobile hotspots work with cell phone carriers such as Vodafone, Telstra, Optus and so on. Mobile hotspot devices often deliver a better performance than phone tethering. Now the most crucial part. Hotspots provide convenience to millions of internet users, but they are rife with security issues. For example, free public hotspots are often the target of hackers. They create fake hotspots that look identical to legitimate hotspots. If users unknowingly connect to these hotspots and use their sensitive data for login, hackers can easily retrieve sensitive data using different techniques. It is also possible for hackers to distribute malware through an unsecured Wi-Fi connection, especially if you are using a file sharing program over the same network. So whenever you visit a public hotspot, you should consider the following safety measures. Make sure you are connecting your device to a trusted service provider and you should turn off folder sharing. Install a good antivirus software and make sure your system firewall is turned on. You can also think about creating a VPN if you are worried about security issues while using a public Wi-Fi hotspot. A VPN allows users to use the internet via an encrypted connection. Also this can help to stop hackers from stealing sensitive data because it is encrypted. Alright so with that this brings me to the end of my topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.